Forgot the password or completely locked out of your favorite iOS device, whether it's an iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone, doesn't matter which version it is, I absolutely have the correct trick to get back in, in either case. Welcome to another episode of Your Technology Questions Answered. I am your host, as usual, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and today we will be talking about iOS devices, so iPod Touches, iPads, and iPhones. All these tricks are universal throughout all the series of each of these lines. So it doesn't matter if you have an iPhone 3, 4, or 5 that's coming out, and it won't matter if you have a standard iPad, an iPad 2, or no, any other iPod Touch. This is because they have things in common. They have the same iOS background. So basically, they're based on the same operating system. That makes sure that they actually have the ability to have a password, the ability to lock you out even if it's by accident, and they all share a home button, which is placed exactly in the center of the bottom part of the screen. So besides the volume control and the mute control and everything on the side, that means it only has really one button besides the power button at the top. So. How about we deal with a few issues before we continue on? How about we basically dismiss, demystify some of the information you see periodically on YouTube? One, if you connect to your computer, you will lose all the data on your phone, iPod Touch, or iPad, but it will restore your data from the latest backup. So a note to yourself to remember, sync it as often as you can whenever you make any great changes to it. That way, the settings will be stored in your computer. So it doesn't matter which computer you connect to, it will erase it. The bonus is the fact that if you're connected to your computer, it will restore at your option from the latest backup. You don't have to restore from the latest backup, but it will give you the option to do that. Second thing, it doesn't matter which computer you did it to to erase it. If you connect back to your computer, you can restore from the latest backup your favorite iOS device. So bearing that in mind, those are two things you need to remember. Another thing, this infamous trick that you see by pressing the power button and the home button simultaneously to reset the device, you don't technically need it. So let's start with the easiest, most plausible condition. You forgot your password, but you haven't gone crazy to the point where you've locked yourself out of your device yet. Connect it to your computer that you normally sync to, otherwise this can't work. Connect to your computer, and make a backup of all your current data. It will just do it because that is the computer that it natively connects to. Once it's downloaded everything, go into the devices menu, select your device, and under summary, hit the button restore. This is within iTunes, of course. It will restore all the factory settings of your device and allow you to restore from the backup you have just made all your information. Keep in mind, it has to be connected to the computer that it normally syncs to, not any other device. Otherwise, it will just erase the information. Now, how long may this take? Well, since iTunes normally downloads the latest iOS device driver, if it's already in your computer, 10 to 15 minutes. If it's not within your computer, anywhere up to an hour, maybe more, depending on your connection and your computer, of course. Here's the thing, if you have completely locked yourself out, so it says that you need to connect back to the original computer, there are a few things you can actually do. And this is what we will call a hard restore. You need to turn off the device. So depress just the power button until you get the message at the top that tells you to turn it off as usual. Then you will press and hold the home button, connect it to the computer, allow iTunes to load, allow the recovery bootloader to load, which is the same bootloader that loads the drivers whenever you upgrade your favorite iOS device, and you let it do its thing. Of course, if the latest driver is not in the computer because you found a device or it's so new you haven't updated it yet, it will take up to an hour or more depending on your connection and your computer. If the driver's already in your computer, it will reload from that driver, 
it'll take maybe 10 to 15 minutes to do, depending on the connections, of course, and the computer's performance, and you'll get the computer completely virgin. Now, if you have the latest back from your computer, it will allow you to restore to the device. Otherwise, it will be completely virgin. Now, you can, in the future, this will allow you anyway, let's say you go camping or whatever, to use your phone. If you go back home to your original computer, you'll be able to store from the last known backup on your computer, your phone, or your iPad, or your iPod Touch. So, you won't have technically lost anything at any point. And here's a bonus. Let's say you lose your device, like one of my friends has done, over the side of a boat while you're gone fishing. Don't know why you'd have it there, but still. Ask him that. You can buy a brand new device, like an iPhone, or go to the latest one, connect it to your computer and restore it to the last known backup. And it will be set up almost exactly the same way that you had your last device. You may have to tinker with the screen a bit, but it will restore back to what you had with all the same music, movies, photos, and everything. So don't worry, it's not the end of the world. This is a full length panic trick. So now that you know how to do it, next time, if ever it happens to you or your friends, you'll know exactly what to do. And please do not press the power button and home button at the same time as you plug it into the computer. There's really no point. You don't have to do that. You only need to do that when you're like in a lot of trouble with your phone. So this has been your technology questions answered. If you like the show, click the like button on YouTube, subscribe to the show, make sure all your friends and family know about this show particularly if you find the information that's going to be useful to them. If you need any other additional information like the show notes, head over to www.zedaxis.net. This has been your technology questions answered. Have a great day.